What's up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Food Review Friday. Today, we are going to fashion dim sum, the best dim sum in North Seattle. All right, so this dim sum place is located in the city of Edmonds and in, in a little tiny strip mall on Aurora Village. I mean, on Aurora Avenue. So it's kind of hard to find, but it's really good. So let's go in. So this place isn't like a normal dim sum place where they have the carts, but instead they have a menu and then you just choose what you want and then you order it. Alright you guys, so they have about 60 items on their menu and it's quite helpful that on the menu there's picture. So if you've never been to a dim sum restaurant, you know, you can kind of gauge what you want to eat. So yeah, thumbs up for that. Alright, so I'm gonna eat the deep fried shrimp dumpling. So it's a shrimp, uh, ground shrimp inside a uh, wonton wrapper and then they deep fry it. So very crunchy on the outside. So let's see the taste on the inside. Mm. The shrimp is really juicy and it's soft and spongy combined with, with the crunchiness of the deep fried wonton is a very nice textures and flavor combination. So next up on the order is a deep fried shrimp uh, coated with taro. So it's a taro, if you don't know, it's a root vegetable and then it's a, it's a nutty uh, kind of root and they uh, slice it into like thin strips and then, uh, you know, they just deep fry it. So. Again, the shrimp is very juicy, uh, very good, very fresh. And the taro, is, it gives us a nutty, a buttery flavor to it. And it's always nice to have a crunch factor to it. Yep. So now I'm gonna open up the sticky rice and the lotus leaf. Let us reveal. Ooh. Might have to get your hands dirty because it's sticky. Okay, I'm gonna cut into it. Yum. So there's pork, mushrooms is what it looks like, and there's the Chinese sausage. Alright, now I'm gonna try it. It's very flavorful. Sometimes the flavor isn't 
that strong in this, but because of the pork, I'm sure it is marinated in something. It tastes really good. The mushrooms add a really nice texture to the softness of the rice. And the one Chinese sausage that's in there adds a little bit of that crunch because of the snap from its um, wrapper. So, really delicious. All right, you guys, so I think we came at a good timing because look, right now, it's like a full house. Yep, and there are people waiting. But right now, we're gonna try my favorite. This might look close to you, but it's chicken feet. Steamed chicken feet in black bean sauce. This is an acquired, it, it is an acquired taste. But if you ever go to dim sum, you gotta get the chicken feet. Hi, did you sign up? Gotta at oh, least okay. try it. So you are the prong, right? And with them? Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for joining. So, if I had to describe this to uh, someone who never eat a chicken feet, I would say it is a little. It's soft. If it's cooked right, it's very soft and it's very fatty. It's like a. Uh, they soft, fatty, has a little bit of a soy sauce taste. But if it's not, if it doesn't cook right, then it will be a little bit rubbery. In this case, it's cooked perfectly. Explain to people how you cook chicken. Just suck on it. So you suck on it. You just spit the bones out. Yeah. And with chicken feet, there's no meat. It's just the. The skin and the collagen, the collagen, 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 or like the gelatinous and then you feel. Yeah. It's just a bone. Like that is how you eat a chicken feet. Yeah, comment down below if you ever tried chicken feet. All right, so we save these for last because this is pretty much like a dessert. It's a custard bun in the form of a pig. It's called the piggy bun. It looked like the angry bird. Look <laughs> 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 <The> eyebrows. Eyebrows. <laughs> <Bro>. Oh, <please. laughs> All right, so there's custard in it. So it's, I'm going to peel this off really quick. We're going to do a, a slow motion. Everyone who's watching can be jealous. <laughs> mm. Perfect way to end the meal. Spill some tea. See you guys outside for the rating. All right, guys. So now we are done with uh, the meal, and we're gonna do our usual review. For myself, I will give the place a uh, our usual rating. For myself, I would give this place a 10 out of 10. It's one of the best. <laughs> Dim sum I ever have. <laughs> so for me, because it's based on price, service, and taste, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Just because sometimes the service isn't like superb. But yeah, 9.5 out of 10. If you're ever in Seattle, in the North Seattle area, definitely check it out. And uh, thank you for those who have subscribed so far. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to keep, keep winning, winning at life. life. Bye.